<laughs> Here we are at Dolliver Memorial State Park and the boy is excited to get his picture taken. Once again, this is about uh, five miles west of Brushy Creek State Recreation Area. So we're about to go in and see what Dolliver Memorial State Park is all about. Yeah, that's the creek. Go ahead, get in it. This is the uh, creek that runs through Dolliver State Park. coming up to something called the Dolliver Plaque. Don't know what it is, but there is a plaque built into the rock on the side of this little, what you would call Iowa Canyon. A lead tablet inscribed by famous explorer Father Hennepin was found in 1912 near Boneyard Hollow, but later was found to be a hoax concocted by two local men. During that time, the site was investigated, leading to a petition to create a state park. In 1921, the state provided $38,500 and the Dolliver Memorial Fund provided an additional 10,000 to purchase the 457 acres that make up Iowa's third state park. The park was dedicated on Sunday, June 25, or excuse me, on Sunday, June 1925 in memory of Jonathan P. Dolliver, representative and senator from Iowa. The plaque of noted sculptor Laredo Taft was unveiled before a crowd of 13,878 people. Written on the plaque is one of Mr. Dolliver's speeches. The geology, remnant prairie, upland forest, Des Moines River, Prairie Creek, and the Indian Mounds are part of the natural and cultural history that make Dolliver Memorial State Park so valuable to the people of Iowa. John Dolliver Prentice, or John Prentice Dolliver, 1858 to 1910. And there's the actual plaque itself. All right, here we are still in Dolliver State Park. And this is the Des Moines River as it runs right through the state park, just south of Fort Dodge, Iowa. coming up to something called the Boneyard Hollow. That's 
There it is. The Boneyard Hollow. <laughs>